sorry, but I just don't get it. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. What is it you don't get this time? So on the op-ed page here, this, this, this freedom from religion debate. No, oh, people killing each other over who's got the coolest imaginary friend. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. I, mean, I say you cannot have your religion if you don't want it, and I don't have to have yours either. I couldn't have put it better myself, Ollie. Mm. Mm. And what's all this brouhaha about the separation of church and mate? I mean, state. It's state noodles. State. I mean, we've been talking about mates, and some people believe that two men should never lie together. That was Leviticus 18.22. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sure? What about three men lying together? Haldeman, Ehrlichman, and Nixon, 1972. <laughs> now, that was biblical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And nobody seems to care when three women lie together. That goes direct to video, right? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. But if an unmarried woman has camel relations before marriage. Carnal. Car oh, carnal. Carnal relations before. Carnal? According to Deuteronomy, the men of her town must stone her to death at her father's doorstep. Yeah. Oh, so she got screwed twice. Yeah, but at least this time she was stoned. <laughs> yeah, the Bible also says that a man can have multiple wives. Boy, the Mormons certainly jumped all over that, though, didn't they? I huh? always thought that church should be named the Church of More Women. My favorite comic was a Mormon. Who was that? Henny Brigham Youngman. He said, take my wives, please. <laughs> Jesus said, all we need is love. No, right? I think that was the Beatles. Uh... Speaking of love, a 40-year-old teacher in Alabama was having inappropriate relations with his 17-year-old female Ooh. student Ooh. who had graduated magna cum laude, and when she turned 18, he married her. Oh, well, at least he made an honest honor student out of her. Yeah, when asked how she would feel about the relationship when she was 70, she said, well, let's see. If I'm 70, that would make him dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lost. That love and feeling. Ooh, that love and feeling. Yeah, I got news for you, baby. He's lost all feeling. Yeah, and I've lost my train of thought. No, uh -huh. Who needs a train? Here come the bus. <sighs> Boomers on a Bench is based on actual and factual freshly broken news. It's all re re real, folks. <laughs>